Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I've got my downhill bike out. Haven't been on this beast for ages. I decided to build this high bike up. This bike doesn't actually exist anymore um, and I haven't used it for a while but this one's super small and perfect for jumps. So I want to see what the downhill bike is going to act like on these huge jumps here. We haven't actually been able to ride the garden for ages now because as you can see we had a lot of rain, it became flooded, all of that. So I had a little go on it yesterday on the jump bike and it was quite soft on the run up. So hopefully we can get enough speed on the downhill bike. Let's get into a bit of MTB dream yarding. Whoa. Bit heavier than the old jump bike. Whew. Here we go. I think I'm gonna have to go a bit faster because of the suspension. Quite scary actually. Ready? Whoa! Oh my god, just! Whoa. That feels sick, but I gotta put that seat up a little bit. That could have been a huge over the bars. But that feels amazing. Crazy that that's got 300 psi and it still feels a bit soft. I'll uh, lift that seat up and get straight back up for more. Dropping. Woo! Yes! Oh, the quarter's amazing on it. Just a bit slow on the first. Yesterday when I was riding on the jump bike, it was slow anyway, so probably not helping that I've got all this suspension. I'm going to try it now with one pedal down the face of the rolling, and that should be cool. Maybe switch the Angie up a bit, Lou. Dropping. Oh, way better. It feels sick on the downhill bike. Dude. I'll try and whip the first one a bit. And then 360 last. Could, could feel quite weird actually, but let's YOLO it. That was the worst whip ever. We need to work on them. I cased a bit and then lost my speed for the three. Can we do like, let's do a slow mo now. We'll do a couple. I just want to try and get that whip better. That felt actually well good. Stoked on that. Um, it's quite hard with the speed. I'm literally pedaling down there as hard as I can. Um, let's get another whip shot on the second one because it's just, it feels insane on the downhill bike. I'll try and like tuck the bar inwards as well because that's like the steezy thing to do. So let's do one of them. Cool, I like that, I cased it a bit. I'm pedaling flat out in between the first lane and the second one. And that shock, it's the seat's touching again, I lifted it, so it means the shock's slowly losing air because I lost the little, I'm just useless. See, I lost that, so I think some of the air's coming out because it's quite soft now for 300 PSI. Don't know, I reckon it's got a flip in it. Got to put that seat up a bit again though because 
keeps touching on the way up that lip, which is so terrifying. I've changed the position of my seat and I'm not proud about it really. It's inverted now. That's the only problem with this frame. That bit is way too far forward. It needs to be like there, but it, when, the, when it's all pumped up, it jumps like a jump bike. It's so cool. So let's get a run through, see if the seat doesn't touch, and then it's backflip on the first time. Dropping. Oh, so good. What on earth was that sound? Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, tighten the bolts up on the headset. So my fork basically just fell off, look. <laughs> that's fine, it's part of the fun, you know? That's, a, that's perfectly exampling one of my bike builds. That's pretty worse than normal, to be honest. It done that in Mexico after a huge front he once, and it just locked on and I crashed. And my uh, trousers went in my wheel and my bum come out mid-run in Mexico because of that. Cool, I'll fix that then, and then we'll flip the first. Right, I'd fix the headset. It was actually missing a whole space. I have no idea how it was held together. I must have just half put it together to like, look at it and then forgot and then just got it out so that was so dangerous anyway let's get this backflip on the first i'm gonna have to pedal along the top hop in pedal down and then flip because it's so slow on this lucky that jump's massive i missed the pop so blinding up the lip. Oh, that's like, I'm glad you got that in slimes. Let's look at that positioning again quick. That actually came round perfect. It felt horrible, but landed clean. It's really hard for the speed on this right now. So um, I'm gonna switch to the jump bike. And you might have noticed this absolute beauty. Look at that. This is the new Swatch NASA edition, taking you into space like I've just been uh, demonstrating. So I'm gonna get super airborne on the jump bike, do a few tricks. And then I think it's time to switch completely because it's so boiling and play on the cake on the pity track out the front. Boom, jump bike is activated. This is gonna feel well weird compared to the downhill bike now. So I'm just gonna start on the hip with a 450 just to make it. Oh my God, this feels mental. Wow. That was cool actually. Let me jump it again, little tabes on there. Boom, swatch in space, totally. Let's hit the big line then. Okay, dropping. Wow, it's so weird on this now. That is the worst thing about switching bikes. It feels so alien straight away. Oh, let's get another one for a refresher. Oh, tiny bike. Woo. Oh, that court was amazing. It's the worst time of the day though. Look how blinding it is on the lip there. It's not the best. It was a bit windy in the morning, so we waited till now. So you've, either, you've got to ride early in the, well, in the morning, early for me, or when the sun drops behind there. But uh, we wanted the sun, because we've actually also been getting some photos for Swatch for this beast. a cool Instagram shot of jumping the jumps with the GoPro here. Uh, so I'm gonna get that on now and I'm gonna flip the first one. Then I'll get like a 360 table on there with the spinny mount on it. Should stay in front, you'll be able to see this beast. It'll be a cool little ad for them. And I'll just be soaked on life. Here we go.
Oh yeah, swatch in space. That was a celebration of this new beast, absolutely loving it. What we're gonna do now is cool down a bit by getting the cake out and shredding it so hard on the pity track out the front. Let's get out there. Ah, relaxation on the cake. Doesn't matter if there's sun in the eyes because all you have to do is wind that throttle. We actually went on it yesterday and we filled that berm up with sand and it is absolutely the dream. So I just get a little like lap on and just love life. <sighs> oh, oh, some birds in there. I found a well sit gap actually for the moto hopper. There's like quite a steep bit of decline in the garden there. And you can go, it's, it's quite a heavy impact on that thing, but part of the fun in it, big launch over that fence with dreams being made all the way. The dream maker. That's so cool. That is the OG for wheelies, actually. Feels so good. Oh yeah, let me get a proper Dhoni in here. Oh, no. Such a scally lent that far forward. That's a proper, I'm gonna try and wheelie like that. <laughs> nah, never. <laughs> Just thought of one more cool thing we could do for the finale. Put the moto hopper before that little like roller. Cause there is a double there, but that lip's so small that on that bike, it's probably just gonna make it disappear. And then you'll go over the bars on the, into the back of the landing. So, ow! That's huge. It's kind of big. I had to build up confidence by doing a lap and then straight in. the best that makes the track way better oh that's the best that's quite a gap really isn't it just caking my way around might as well get a little slow then Ah, oh, so nice to have the sun back and the MTB Dream Yard running again. I know it's looking a bit like a sort of um, nature reserve in here. Didn't quite get round to cutting the lawn yet, but like I said, we were waiting for ages for those jumps to dry out. Now it's finally happened. So I need to do a few tweaks on there. I think I'm gonna change that first lip. I'm gonna drop it down a bit so it's actually a step up. Um, but yeah, that's been so, so much fun finishing off on this ridiculous machine. That, I actually, I'm going to Sweden to do an enduro race on these some point in this year, so look out for that. It's gonna be well fun. But on that bombshell of sun, tricks, fun, and throttle twisting, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments, and be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. Let's go.